And so for those of you who are going to be building mock-ups though, enterprise or small business, um, and some for consumers too, there are a couple different ways that you can design a view of what this will look like. So one of the resources I like to use is Pinterest. Not to look for recipes though, which a lot of people think Pinterest is for, but you can find a lot of really awesome UX and UI designs. All these things I'm showing you here are gonna be really useful if you are not a professional designer yourself and you don't know exactly what all the screens should look like and you don't know where to start. So Pinterest is a really good place to find a bunch of inspiration. Um, let me even just show you what that looks like because I have on my own personal boards. A UX UI there it is, board where I just keep pins of, you know, app experiences that I like. And where when I go to design or redesign something, I go and kind of pull from some of these views. So, you know, for example, what the different screens can look like in a product. There's lots of really great resources here um, that you can pull from. And I'll kind of show you what you can do with them and how you can edit them afterwards. But I'm always keeping track of um, these sorts of things, right? I even pulled from inside of the uh, existing product. I decided that I wanted this large banner up top with the photo in the middle because of this image, right, inside of the bootcamp portal. So Pinterest is a good place to look. And if you just Google, I'm not Google, if you just search for um, kind of UX design or UX app, by the way, if you're not familiar, UX is user experience. So it's kind of the order of all the screens and what happens next. So uh, you can find a bunch of really interesting inspirations here for your product and you can try different searches as well. So Pinterest is a place to look. Another place to look is Google Slides. So, and I do mock-ups on Google Slides all the time. So literally this, this uh, PowerPoint or PowerPoint you can also do. Um, so let's say I find a dashboard that I like and maybe I Google it or I find it on Pinterest. I drag it to my desktop. What I can do is put shapes on top of it to put my own content on there. So I'm just dragging something and making it about the same color. And now that's a blank box. And now I can put, you know, whatever text I need to and design it however I need to right on top of it. So this is also another way for you guys to create very simply um mockups here that you can use if you don't want to get super into the tech and all the details of getting a fancy design this also works right um, so this is a way to do this right to get the just to get the gist for them so that they understand how it's going to look and they don't have to completely imagine it from scratch right um other things you should look at. Um, there's a tool called Marvel App. And if you saw that example I showed you of Ashley's screen by screen product, she used Marvel App to create her prototype. So Marvel App is nice because they have a bunch of templates that you can use. So let me maybe show you, and it's just for prototyping and fig figuring out what the screens are gonna look like for your product. So what's nice here is they've got pre-made elements of a lot of different either web or mobile apps. So um, you can kind of take a template and make some edits to it. This is really zoomed in. Uh, you could take some templates that they have and make some edits to it and it's just drag, drop, point, click. Um, so this is a tool that you can use. I would say that this tool is maybe a little bit uh, 
of the tools that I'm giving you, the recommendations, this one is probably the most robust in terms of fanciness and bells and whistles. If you are the type of person who gets bogged down with all of the options, don't use this tool. Like use, find something that's close and then use some Google Sheets and, and put stuff on top of it, right? If you are a designer and you love this kind of stuff and you've got a good design sense and this doesn't stress you out, you can use this tool and create something really beautiful as well. So just know yourself when you're choosing which tool to choose. Canva is also another option. So Canva uh, is a little bit easier to use than Marvel app, um, but it's not necessarily built just for app uh, design it's for any graphic design so they've got uh let me show you this before we move on they've got a ton of templates that you can see here for all different kinds of graphics and powerpoint presentations in fact if you guys want to do your deck and your powerpoint presentation using one of their presentations that might be really nice for you to do but they've got all sorts of different templates for lots of things they don't have app specific templates but what you can do is you can kind of start with a blank canvas or start with kind of an app screenshot and just use some of their shapes and icons to create screens for yourself, like a phone-like screen or to create a desktop screen and put different shapes and things that you need in. some sort of profile image. What you guys will find is that every single day, all of you guys see user experience design. You, you experience it every single day, you're just not paying attention to it, right? So there's lots of sites that you go to and you see that are beautiful and lots of ones that are ugly and you kind of just make a quick judgment about them. Um, and so I want you guys to start paying attention to when you go to Google, They've made some decisions about what goes where on the page, right? Um, take a look at that. When you go to Facebook, they've made some decisions about what goes where on the page. Just start to look at some of those things and notice that it will help you as you're kind of creating some mock-up. So this is another tool that you can use and these are all drag, drop, point, click kind of tools as well. Um, and then finally, uh, there is a company called uh, Graphic River, and Graphic River has um, all sorts of templates for a bunch of different things. Um, Graphic River uh, is, it will, Envato Market is like the larger overarching um, company, and then they have all of these different things. So if you need um, code to pull, or you need videos, audio for things, they have all sorts of different kind of things you can get from them. Um, and buy from them, but Graphic River has the graphics that we're looking for. And so if you go under web elements, user interfaces, you can um, either search for like fitness app or something kind of in your related space and see, and, and kind of for a small amount, this is $6, um, purchase uh, screen mockups that are pre-designed that you can then kind of layer things on top of and edit. If you, any of you guys are good at Photoshop, um, they'll give you the Photoshop file. However, Photoshop is really difficult to learn for most beginners. So I don't think you need to learn how to use Photoshop, but if you want, want, to, work, want to start from one of these, you can grab one of these and pull it into your PowerPoint and then put your shapes on top of it or on, in Canva and put your shapes on top of it. You can also search for things like dashboard. And they've got all sorts of templates that you can pull from. So you don't have to start from scratch here. And a lot of what the work you'll be doing when you grab these templates is removing things. Like most of them have far more extra bells and whistles than you'll need, but it'll give you a place to start from and you don't have to be a creative genius, you know, starting from scratch. So these are some of the kind of hack tools you can use to create your mock-up and to have something that looks nice 
and gets your point across to your customers so they really understand what will be included. Now, this is the route that you're going to take if you're SMB or your enterprise. If you are B2C, you're going to be going a slightly different route. I would say that for the most part, if you are building a recommendation app, you want to go the invisible app route. If you're building a very database heavy app, we're going to take a look later on at a tool called AppSheet to build your app. If you are teaching people something, you're going to want to look at an app called Teachable. If you're building a marketplace where people buy and sell from each other, um, ShareTribe is the name of a tool for you to look at. And if you're building an app that's very social heavy, Mighty Networks is a good tool for you. So for those of you, this is less so relevant for those of you who are enterprise, but if you are a small business or your consumer, this is just a quick look. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you demos and we're gonna dive into all of these tools, not today, um, but in our, in our weekly sessions. But I just wanna show you kind of a quick one page overview of some of the tools you may be using. So this is AppSheet. AppSheet is a tool that allows you to take spreadsheet data and turn it into an app. So imagine if you took a spreadsheet and it's now in an app format, you can kind of see an example here. So people can add new inputs, they can see you know, data visualizations of the inputs, um, they can make changes, et cetera. It's pretty much if you had a spreadsheet of information but had an app version, that's how this works. Um, Share Tribe is a tool to allow you to create a marketplace where people can buy and sell from each other. You can see a little example here, it almost looks like Airbnb, where um, there are different listings and you can serve them and then purchase from each other. And you can take a commission on the sale. Mighty Networks is a tool to create your own social network. And so um, you can charge people to be part of the premium community. People can do questions and answers, ask each other questions, receive answers. They can post videos. They can like each other's posts, comment on each other's posts, do direct message, et cetera. And then finally, Teachable, um, for those of you who are building education products, allows you to create your own sort of online course and education platform system. It's loading up. But those are some tools for those of you who are B2C and some for SMB that you may want to leverage um, when you're thinking about your plan. And we're going to get far more into this, but just want to introduce you to some cool tools.